Hello, welcome to Houdini Beginners course. In this course, I'm going to cover a lot of topics. Uh, so I will provide the list of the topics in the description, which I'm going to cover in this entire course. So now in this lesson, we are going to see the interface of the Houdini. And now this is the interface of the Houdini. And here this is nothing but we'll call it as scene view. So whatever the modeling or any effects you are going to add, it will show all the effects and models in this scene view here. And here there is an option like parameters. So each and every object will have an parameters. So if you want to make any settings or something, we can adjust in the parameter window. And here you can see this is a node graph. So what the thing is now Houdini based on total node graph. So whatever the object you're going to take or any kind of effects, it will be in the form of nodes. So the total nodes can be seen in this panel and side you can see there are tools panel. Uh, so if you want to move the objects or if you want to move the camera, then we can use this tools bar. And now this is called as a shelf editor here. So from shelf editor, we can create a lot of objects. Like if you want to create any cube sphere or if you want to create any curves or any other things we can create from this shelf editor. Here you can see there are a lot of options for the texturing, rigging, characters, effects, etc. Now I'll go to the create. And now what the thing is at present, it is in the camera tool. Uh, so if you left click and drag, we can orbit around this scene here. And suppose if you want to zoom in, zoom out, we can use right click so that if you drag mouse up direction, then we can zoom in. And if you drag down, we can zoom out. And if you want to pan around, we can use a middle mouse button and drag up and down left and right. And now we will create a basic object. So in order to create the basic object, we can go to this create tab in the shelf editor and we have to click on this box. So just click on this box. Now see it is showing the box. And now wherever you want to place just you can move the mouse there and you can left click so that it will create the box in that position. And see now whenever we create an object now it has been switched to this navigation tool. So that means we can move the object left and right up and down and also we can able to rotate and also we can able to like scale. Now when you create an object, you cannot orbit around the scene by using the left mouse button. So because like uh, before creating the object, it was in the camera tool. Now after creating the object, it has been switched to navigation. Now when you create an object and if you want to orbit around, then we can use alt left click and drag so that we can orbit around. And now in case if you don't want to use uh, alt left click for the orbit, uh, so we can switch back to camera tool. So if you want to switch back to camera tool, we can press escape so that it will switch back to camera tool. So see now I have used the escape button to switch back to the camera tool. Now we can use left mouse button and drag and we can use the right mouse button to zoom in zoom out and we can use the middle mouse button to pan. And now if you want to move the object, uh, we can switch back to these tools here like move tool. So the shortcut is T. So when you switch to this move tool, then here you will get this pivot point so that we can left click and drag in the Y axis, X axis and like Z axis. So if you want to rotate, we can click on this rotate tool and the shortcut is R. So just we can use this to rotate the object in particular axis. And if you want to undo, you can press Ctrl Z so that you can undo. And if you press Ctrl Y and you can redo. So if you want to undo Ctrl Z and if you want to redo, you can press Ctrl Y. And now if you want to scale this object, you can go to this scale option and you can press E and we can switch to the scale tool. And if you want to scale in the particular axis, you can left click and drag in the Z y axis and x axis and if you want to scale it uniformly then we can left click and drag in the middle so that we can scale it and now if you want to navigate around the scene we can switch to this camera tool and we can left click and drag we can zoom in zoom out and we can pan and now we have another option in this camera so whenever you select this camera up right here you can see there is an option toggle between the first person navigation and tumbling modes so we'll see what will happen if you enable this one. So if you enable this one, now we can navigate around this scene by using the WASD. So most of the first person shooter games will have these shortcuts like WASD. So in the game, if you want to move the character front, back, left and right, we will use these shortcuts. So here also now if you use W, then we can move front. If you use S, then we can move backside. And if you use A, we can move left. And if you use D, then we can move it to right. So W A S D. So we can use these options to navigate around the scene. 
And in case if you don't want to use that one, just we can disable this and we can use the left mouse button to orbit right for zoom in, zoom out and middle mouse button for panning. And also whenever you are in this uh, tool here, so if you want to increase and decrease the speed of this movement, so see now whenever I press W, S, A, D, then it is moving a little bit slow. So if you want to increase the speed of the camera, then we can use this option like show view parameters. So if you click on this now here, you can see there is an option like movement speed. So suppose in case if you increase this and if you close, it is moving fast. So in this way, you can change the movement speed of this camera. And if you go to this and we can, if you want to increase more, you can increase and just you can close and you can move, you can move very fast. But in my case, most of the time I will use this uh, left mouse button. So I can turn off this camera and now I can use the left mouse button to orbit around the scene. And if you want to switch between the different views, uh, for example, of, suppose if you want to switch to like top view, side view, then we can press B, B for ball. So if you press B, then it will switch back to the four views. So from here, you can see there is an like, uh, this is a top view, this is a front view, and this is a right view. In case if you want to switch around these views, suppose let's say if you want to switch this, switch back to this uh, front view, then we can hover the mouse here. And again, we have to press B so that it will maximize the front view. And again, if you press B, it will switch back to the four views. And again, if you want to switch back to this perspective, you can press B by holding the mouse onto this perspective. Now it will maximize this. So in this way, we can um, navigate around this like front view, top view and side views. And also in case if you don't want to use the shortcut and if you go here directly here, you can uh, set the viewport. Uh, so for example, if you want to set the viewport to like front view, then you can select this. See, and also there are some of the shortcuts here. Uh, so in the numpad, you can use this one, two, three, four to switch switch between these four views. So for example, if you are in the perspective view, and now if I use one, it is a perspective view, two, uh, like it is a top view, three is for front view, and four is for right view. And five is for in uh, UV mode. Uh, so UV mode, I will literally explain when we start the texturing part. So I will switch back to perspective view by pressing one. And now suppose if you want to create any other object, you can go back to the shelf editor and you can click on the sphere and wherever you want to place, just you have to left click over that position and now. And see whenever I'm creating the new objects in this node graph, it is creating different nodes based on the objects here. So it is creating the node individually for each and every object. And now we have to select the object by using these nodes. Uh, so for example, see now the sphere has been selected. So if you want to select this cube, you can select this node here. Now it will select the box. So if you left click here, we cannot select the object. Uh, so if you want to select any objects, you have to left click in the node graph so that it will be selected. And also you can see in the parameter window, it's showing the parameters of individual objects. Uh, for example, if you select this box, now it is showing the parameters of the box. And if you select the sphere and it is showing the parameters of this sphere here. And also we can move the objects from uh, this parameters to, uh, so for example, if you type some phi or something, then it will move to the five units. Uh, so we can zoom in, zoom out uh, by using this camera tool. We can see this. So see now it has been moved. So for example, again, if I put it to zero, then it will come to the center of this origin. So if you want this object to become to the center of the scene, then we can put all the values to zero, zero, zero. So now see the object has been moved to the center of this scene here. So for example, if you want to move this box to, so then we can select this box and we can use this translate to zero, zero, zero. Now see it has been moved to the center of this object. So in this way we can here like uh, we can use the scale option. We can just like middle mouse button and drag so that we can change the values here. So in case if you don't want to type and if you want to uh, change the values randomly, then we can use the middle mouse button drag so that it will change the values of these properties. And if you want to move, you can go back to this and we can move these objects. And also now we can change the interface of this fully according to our convenient. Uh, so for example, if you want to hide some of the panels, uh, for example, if you want to hide this uh, 
shelf editor, then you can click on this uh, black arrow. So if you click on this, now it, it will hide the shelf editor. And suppose if you want to hide this parameter window, you can uh, select this arrow mark here and you can click this. And in case if you want to enable, you can enable again by using this uh, arrow option. And also here, if you want to enable, you can click on this. So it will enable this parameter. And in case if you close this parameter option, and in case, suppose if you want to open the parameter of any object, uh, for example, if you select this pair, suppose if you want to open the parameter of this object, then we can press P, P for pen, then it will open the parameter of this object here. Again, if you press P, then it will close. And also it depends on the positions of the mouse pointer. Uh, for example, suppose if you place the mouse pointer in the scene and if you press P, it will open another parameters, which is not related to this cube. So what the thing is, if you want to open actual parameters, like uh, if you want to see the values of X, Y, Z, scale and rotation, then make sure we have to place the mouse in this area and we have to press P so that it will open the parameter. And for time being, I will open this parameter defaultly. So I can click on this arrow so you can open this parameter. And suppose in case if you want to reset these viewports, uh, for example, by mistake, if you close these panels and suppose if you close this parameter window. And what the thing is now, if you want to reset to the default workspace, then we can go to this build option. And here you can see there is an option reload current desktop. And and now see uh, it has been reset the workspace here. And suppose if you want to create your own workspace in this Houdini, you can create that. Uh, suppose in case uh, if you don't want this object parameter and suppose if you close this timeline, then we can close. And now suppose if you want to save this workspace separately, then we can go to this option. And here we have to click on this save current desktop as. So make sure don't click on this save current desktop because it will replace the uh, build one. So which is default. So if you want to save separately, you have to click on this save current desktop as. So you can give the name like one, two, three or something and you can click on save. So now what the thing is, suppose if you go to this bill, now you can see this is a default one. And now suppose if you switch back to this one, two, three, then you will get this workspace here. So for this entire course, I will be in the default one like build option. So that's it for this interface here and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.